。歡迎收睇美國專訊。由於翻辦公室工作人越嚟越少，咁紐約市嘅商廈市場自從新冠疫情以嚟，已經損失咗四千億美元嘅市值啦。咁下邊嘅記者拉玲嘅報導。紐約市盡收眼底，但係好多寫字樓而家空無一人。根據 Castle Systems 嘅數據顯示，辦公室佔有率只有新冠病毒爆發前嘅百分之四十三，喺每個星期五嘅數字更加下跌到百分之二十一。對經濟嘅影響係上班族嘅消費減少咗一百二十億美元，導致大量零售同餐飲業關閉，好多投資呢一類物業嘅公司蒙受更大嘅風險。Covid sort of started this off, but this has had major repercussions for office values in particular. And what we found is that those changes have caused a reduction in value of about four hundred billion dollars over these last two years. 紐約市三分之二嘅寫字樓租約將需要喺未來三到四年內續約。范紐約堡教授話：呢、这個情況會為紐約地產市場帶嚟更多挑戰。So I'd like to say that the second shoe is yet to drop on the office market. So what we see if we sort of take a projection of 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 these future rollovers is that you know all in all about a forty percent reduction in value for the New York City office stock. 如果在家工作成為常態，咁紐約市會發生乜嘢變化咧？ I think the worst-case scenario for large cities, including New York City, is that employees do not return to the office. This becomes a new way of working, and so we'll then have, you know, a lot of empty, vacant downtown areas where tax revenues are falling. There's not enough money coming in for the city to stabilize the situation. 雖然新嘅研究對更加廣泛嘅商廈地產市場作出咗嚴峻嘅預測，但好似公園大道四百二十五號呢一類嘅高級物業，長期租任嘅租用率接近滿額。呢啲建築配備便利措施，例如冥想室，為租户提供辦公室餐飲服務嘅米芝蓮星級廚師，同最高級嘅咖啡店。We're very fortunate that we did build this with the vision that the partners had to build it because we are attracting more leases that are going to be signed. We're about 86 to 89% occupied today. 但係呢一類豪華辦公大廈只係佔曼哈頓商廈市場嘅一小部分。为咗揾到解决方案，纽约市市长亚当斯最近参观咗曼哈顿下城区一座商业大厦，改建为出租住宅大厦。The bottom line is we must make it easier to convert office buildings like the one we just toured into housing for a New Yorker. We're talking about millions of square feet of office space. 隨住最近將辦公室改造成住宅嘅努力，以及紐約市充滿活力嘅文化同美食供應，紐約市仍然有希望吸引足夠多嘅人去渡過遠程工作嘅長期影響。記者拉寧，紐約市報道。海大生長喺靠近海岸線嘅水域，係食物同營養補充劑。咁緬因州嘅漁民喺淡季咧就靠種植海大增加額外收入㗎。咁下邊嘅記者費多嘅報道。We're looking at a pretty significant economic development issue here on the coast of Maine, as the Gulf of Maine warms faster than 98% of oceans in the world. We're working with fishermen to diversify their income by farming kelp in their off season. The working waterfront in Maine is is traditionally very independent. Most of the people that I can think of are all you know owner operators or own independent boats, and I'm mostly thinking about lobstermen here. The ASF model allows people to maintain their independent owner operator status, but also get the support that they need to venture into a new, a new field that's totally different from wild capture. We started out、uh, farming mussels in 2010, and very soon after that, we decided to add kelp to the mix. The main reason was that、uh, it was a chance to do even more positive. Environmental good. Kelp is grown in the winter. It's a very fast-growing organism, so we plant all of our kelp, 40,000 feet、um, of it, in the middle fall. You know, sometime October, November. We help fishermen get their leases. We help our partner farmers pick their spots, set up their farms. We provide technical assistance on how to grow kelp. We have a, an overarching、um, kelp transfer kind of program, and then we also grow all of the seeds for the kelp, and we give those seeds to our partner farmers for free. Kelp is good for the environment because it helps、um, remove some of the excess nutrients that are in coastal ecosystems. Often those nutrients are caused by human reasons, human sources. So kelp actually absorbs those nutrients from the water,、uh, which can help balance the ecosystem, make a healthier coastal ecosystem. I think what I get most excited about with my job is I get to really challenge conventional wisdom about what a food system can be, 
and what food can do for people and the environment. So to be able to look at the coast and see the exact same issues that we're confronting everywhere else, just maybe 20 years early, so that we can actually do something about it. It's pretty exciting. And so we can also be not only like a warning sign for the rest of the world, but also a beacon of hope for how we can go about climate change adaptation in a way that is thoughtful and preemptive. Thank you for watching.